Tonight, the NBA is doling out a lifetime ban to Raptors forward Jonte Porter Jr. after a league investigation uncovered blatant violations of our gaming rules. Porter is accused of manipulating his own performance and tipping off betters, which Commissioner Adam Silver commented on days ago. It's cardinal sin, you know, that, that what he's accused of in the NBA. Porter is the first active player or coach expelled from the league for gambling in 70 years. Adam Silver had no choice but to drop the hammer today. According to a league investigation, Porter placed at least 13 bets on NBA games, netting about $22,000, shared confidential information about his own health status to a known NBA better, and limited his own game participation to influence the outcome of bets tied to his performance. He then gets into a game against the Sacramento Kings and within three minutes takes himself out, saying that he's sick. He only played three minutes. He didn't take shots. He didn't get rebounds. So he underperforms. They win the bet. NBC News was unable to reach Porter for comment. The rush of attention around professional sports leagues and gambling. Bet all the stars with all your friends. has coincided with those same leagues going into business with the gambling companies. How are we going to integrate gambling into professional sports while simultaneously making sure that the players aren't gambling? It's the most important thing. But what he did speaks to the heart of why this is such a bad idea to have leagues partner with gambling companies. A new terrain that leagues like the NBA must now navigate. Sam Brock, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.